is uh, a quick run through of our gear and safety equipment, um, just for general interest sake. For single sword, we use a mix of steel and substitute weapons. Uh, of course, traditionally, the substitute weapon for a back sword was a single stick, like this. Um, we don't like single sticks particularly. Uh, if they're light, like this one, uh, people can whip them around really fast. They still hurt quite a bit, so you've got to wear a lot of protective equipment um, and find them very unrealistic simulators in the hand, even if they are traditional. If you make your single stick with enough heft to properly simulate a sword, like this, you end up with something that is really a very dangerous weapon. Okay, this is basically a basket of club um, that will do a lot of damage and you've got to wear a lot of equipment to spar with these. So this is kind of like a, a, a boffin for a single sword. I do use this uh, for sparring um, and I don't particularly like them. I think they're quite dangerous. Our modern version of the single stick is the modified Shinai. Um, for an adult male, a size 39 Shinai with the handle cut off and then you should sew this leather bit over the top to hold the whole thing together. Fitted with some sort of basket which can be plastic, it can be leather, it can be metal. This is a standard SCA basket hilt. And this gives the weapon the right sort of heft for a real sword. Um, and because it's a shinai and it flexes, you can push things pretty hard and have a really good vigorous fencing match without having to worry too much about damaging people. So that's our ideal substitute weapon for single sword. For long sword, we also use modified shinai. Um, we give them sort of plastic or resin crosses, uh, some sort of pommel on the end. Under here is a length of lead of steel pipe with some lead in the end. So again, we give them the heft, the weight, and the balance of a real sword. And this allows you, once again, to have a nice vigorous fencing match, full targets without doing enormous amounts of damage to each other. For rapier, we don't use any substitute weapons. We use steel replicas. Um, the only concession we make is a rubber tip on the end of the weapon to make the thrusts a little bit safer. But other than that, a, a full weight steel replica rapier is perfectly adequate. For single sword, um, the steel replicas, we can use both full weight and kind of light underweight weapons. A uh, full weight steel sword like this um, requires obviously some protective equipment we'll get to later. These should weigh between 1.1 and 1.4 kilos, um, averaging out sort of 1.2 I guess. Basket hilt protects the hand, which is very, very handy for safety reasons. Um, I will use these in preference to cross hilts, even when doing, say, 133, which usually requires a cross hilt to be historically accurate, just because it's better protection than a gauntlet. You can also use slightly underweight steel weapons. Uh, this is a, a Darkwood Shea of Honor with a very, very light blade fitted to it, or a, a Hanway Hutton Sabre or Mortuary Hilt Backsword. These can be very useful uh, batting weapons because they're a little bit safer um, and for some systems such as the Bolognese practicing it with a light weapon um, is really useful it allows you to do all the techniques without too much worry about damaging each other and do more repetitions in drills um, than you can manage with the full weight weapon as long as you are disciplined about it okay these are very very light and again you can whip them about really fast in a way that you can't with a full weight sword. So it takes a certain amount of discipline to switch from a full weight sword to an underweight weapon even though these are really useful bouting tools as well and we recommend that you use both. For long sword again we have the mix of both full weight replica blunts and specifically made bouting weapons such as the feather sword. Um, these we find uh, fairly problematic for full speed bouting because they are very dangerous. You can do a tremendous amount of damage with two hands on a sword, particularly to vulnerable areas like the hands and fingers. Um, so tend to restrict bouting with the full weight weapons to advanced students with a lot of padding on. The feather swords are underweight, they're nice and light. Again, you can whip them about really fast, so you've got to use a certain amount of self-discipline to bout with them, but they are very useful 
uh, bouting weapons for training purposes and for doing some steel bouting with longsword. Um, one modification we do make is we cut the hammer, the, the, the thick bit that they put on these things off. Uh, this reduces the flex of the blade a lot so they don't wobble about under their own um, weight, which they do if they've got this heavy bit on there. I think it's there for safety reasons, but I don't like it. So we chop that off, which stiffens the blade up enormously and it allows you to do most of your techniques with uh, again, without worrying too much about doing serious damage to your opponent. Uh, for quarter staff, we also use different weapons. This is a Naganata, Naganata Shai, uh, which is a, a sparring weapon for Naganata. It's a little light and a little short for a quarter staff or pole arm, um, but this bamboo bit on the end is nice and light and has enough flex to take the sting out of most of the blows. So, this is a really good introductory light training weapon for quarter staff. Uh, bouting with the full weight wood is again very problematic. These are, uh, are heavy, fairly dangerous weapons. Uh, this one's got the steel cones on the end, but even without that, the difference between a sharp staff and a blunt staff is not a lot. Um, so bouting with, with full wood is really pretty problematic. It's even problematic drilling with it uh, because again, they're heavy and you get tired. Um, so there's only a certain number of repetitions that people could do without getting sloppy. Um, so again, this is for occasional use by advanced students for, for specific purposes only. Our favoured bouting weapon for quarter staff is a rattan staff. These have enough heft to be realistic um, substitutes for the wood. But again, they've got enough flex that they do take the sting out of most of the blows and uh, we find these pretty good. This is just SEA whole arm grade rattan and uh, is, is a really quite effective. I'm very happy with the way these have come up as a bouting weapon for staff and you could put leather axe heads or whatever you like on the end if you want to do world's hook or build work.